I'm a board-certified family medicine physician, which means I treat real patients, I went to a real medical school, I took real licensing exams. I'm not just some phony TV doctor peddling miracle cures in the land of Oz. <laughs> I also happen to have a large social media following where we educate, make healthcare accessible with accurate evidence-based information, all while having some good old-fashioned fun. Am I right? Yeah. We have 21 million subscribers, billions of views on Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat. There's probably a MySpace floating around there. <laughs> so you see, Social media isn't just all really misleading TikToks. There's board certified doctors on there too, reacting to those misleading TikToks. <clears throat> I want to gauge the room right now. Make some noise if you do follow me on social media. <laughs> Show 
because the cost of a ticket is cheaper than actually going to see your doctor to get your health care. <laughs> Tonight, I am going to be answering a lot of your questions. So throughout the show, pull out your phones, go on Twitter, use the hashtag AliveDC, and I will be answering those questions. I will periodically check in on that Twitter hashtag throughout the show. But I have to set some ground rules first, because I see what you guys do in my comment section, and I'm afraid of what you'll do in real life. For example, I'd love to answer a question about how often you should be showering for optimal skin health. I can't answer a question about that thing you found on your skin while you're in the shower. <laughs> I'd love to answer a question about what to do with expired prescription drugs. I can't prescribe you drugs. <laughs> now you're literal doctor. <laughs> I'm not sharing my NPI information. <laughs> but a good doctor never works alone, am I right? <laughs> many of you from the audience to come up on stage, participate in all sorts of games and challenges, because that is how we're having fun tonight. Make some noise if you're excited. <laughs> there will also be some familiar faces throughout tonight's show. My longtime partner on the YouTube channel, who I actually started the YouTube channel with, my videographer, editor, the man, Mr. Dan Owens. <laughs> you know who I'm about to bring out, right? The next person, I'm, the next individual I'm gonna bring out is big. He's furry. He slobbers when he eats. I have more followers than him on social media. He's probably the most popular member of the Dr. Mike YouTube team. Welcome to the stage, Sam Bowers! Um, Dr. Mike, I, I think you need to stop calling me furry. Everyone's going to think you're talking about your pet dog, Bear. <laughs> you have the beard, you're tall, big, furry. Was I lying? That's true, that's true. That's true. All right, well, Sam, who's normally my producer, will help me keep things running today. So how about we give him a round of applause for Nurse Sam. <laughs> not a registered nurse. <laughs> Do not seek him for medical information. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> How about we change this title to unregistered nurse Sam then? I'll take it, thank you. Okay. There's gonna be more guests, and there's gonna be so many more surprises that I just think you're not ready for. <gasps> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I have no idea how we got out here. Is that the plant that's antagonized me time and time again on the YouTube channel? <laughs> I just saved... Excuse me, plant. I'm trying to save your life here. What are you doing, bro? We're going to do this up here. We're going to do this up here. <laughs> This is inappropriate behavior. I don't know if I can continue tonight. That was, that might have been too much for me. Okay, look, uh, we can't just leave these people hanging. We have to, the show must go on. So um, let's get your, uh, let's get your breathing under control. How about we do some of those breathing exercises we've been working on and we'll recenter your chi. Okay, I guess that's important. Foul chi, foul chi. Feel better? Something about his white hair and being in the nation's capital makes me feel so much better. Big round of applause. Right, we're about to start tonight's show, but before we do it, we have to say that one magical word before we start.
start any of our projects, and that word is... <laughs> so on the count of three, I'm going to need everyone to flip their fingers like this, point to the stage, and say pee -woo. One, two, three. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike, Dr. Mike. Uh, we, something, something's wrong. You be a doctor here. We need some help. Okay, I was trained for this. Remember, not a phony doctor, real doctor. But it looks like this patient named Washington, D.C. has a lot of health concerns. And this is not a bad thing because I'm a family medicine doctor. Primary care doctors, like family med doctors, are usually the best place to start for any area of concern. We know how to make diagnosis, diagnoses. We know how to treat conditions. We know how to explain what those conditions are to you in a language that you can understand. And most importantly, we can teach you how to prevent future problems from happening. But it looks like you might be having a heartache. Hmm. Let's take a look. The heart is a muscular organ located in the chest, responsible for pumping blood to and from parts of the body. The heart consists of four chambers, two atriums and two ventricles that work to pump blood to the body through arteries as well as receive blood through veins. Unlike the rest of the body, the heart does not sleep, continuously beating every day and every night inside the chest of every adult, every child and every Grinch until the day they die. Dr. Mike presents The Heart. What is this thing about the Grinch? Is there any veterinarians in the house? Hey. Uh, oh, wait. Is Grinch, is that a thing? I don't think that is. No. Oh. <laughs> well, see, I told you you're going to learn something on tonight's show. Okay, for this segment where we will treat your heart, I need two audience volunteers. Get Woo! those hands up. mannequins here, dummies, where we will learn how to perform proper chest How are you? What's your name? Hannah. Hannah? Yeah. Hannah, where are you from? Virginia. Virginia. So close by? Yeah. See, I know my geography too, not just a doctor. <laughs> Have you ever um, seen a mannequin up close? Yes, I was CPR certified. <laughs> Today, we're going to be teaching both of you and the audience how to perform hands-only CPR, which is incredibly important because 70% of cardiac arrests that happen outside of the hospital happen in our homes, and we need to know what to do when that happens. The first step, and it's not cheating if you look behind me, <laughs> what should you do if you find a person who is not breathing, pulseless, and unconscious. Just the question? It's, it's not cheating. Call 911. Okay, call 911. But you were all night scrolling on TikTok, watching educational content only, and your phone died. What do you do then? Chest compressions. <laughs> But if you want to perform proper chest compressions, you want to interlock your fingers on top of the mannequin and push hard and fast in the center of the chest. Ideally, you should do this to the beat of 100 beats per minute, 
similar to a song like this. Is that what we're going to do to your mannequin? Sure. Okay, so that's actually a little confusing point here because when you are performing chest compressions, that person is clinically dead. Their heart has stopped. It's a cardiac arrest. So we actually squeeze the heart to push the blood that still has some remaining oxygen in it throughout the body. So we're buying time for 911 advanced cardiac life support to erupt. And in today's competition, we're going to perform two minutes of chest compressions, which is normally what we do in a hospital setting. And the person who gets closest to how many beats in 200? A hundred. Uh, two hundred? So the person who gets closest to 200 chest compressions is going to be our winner tonight. Big prizes today. Make some noise for big prizes. got to 200. I think I could yeah? yeah? What's the one to ten confidence level? Eight. Eight. <laughs> Let's find out. Confidence level, one to ten. I think about nine and a half. Nine and a half! Oh. You know what's funny? Because we watch Grey's Anatomy, the good doctor, and they never want to do chest compressions. I feel like they're more in love with the defibrillator than they are with one another. Is it more romance? <laughs> Sam, tell us who's the winner. By a score of 192 Whoa. <laughs> to 187, Woo. the Chest Compressions Champion winner is Hannah! Woo. Sam has your RX prescription. Congratulations. You're also a winner. Why? You learn how to perform hands-only CPR again. And she won a prescription for merch that you can claim at the end of the show. You got it! Okay, Boston. I see, I literally am a little shell shocked today for my trip from Boston. I'll tell you why. I, um, I did my show last night in Boston. And then we were supposed to fly here today in the morning. We get on our plane, 
Everything's going well. Bear's tucked into his seat. We get him a seat as well. And wouldn't you believe it, they kicked us off the plane. So to come here, we had to drive through eight hours of a lot of traffic. The flight attendants on said airline said, you already did your show in Boston. Who cares? You don't need to do it in D.C. I said, how can we miss D.C.? is an oval-shaped cavity inside of the skull, creating a pathway for food, water, and oxygen to enter the body. The digestive process begins at the mouth, where the tongue and teeth are used to process food. The mouth also has an essential function for speech, creating a direct pathway for sounds created by the vocal cords to escape. Without the mouth, people wouldn't be able to speak, which, now that I think about it, doesn't sound so bad after all. <laughs> Dr. Mike presents The Mouth. Someone has a lot of attitude. What is the one thing we battle on the YouTube channel more than anything else? Misinformation. Exactly. I don't know what else was said, but misinformation. <laughs> And today we're going to battle the worst type of misinformation. And for this game, I need two volunteers. Throw those hands up. 